Go ahead. Most people, uh, when they go to events like this, are uh, networking in a very inefficient way. They're writing names on boards or birds of feather, or they're dependent on their personality to network. And what we are saying is that there is an efficient way to do this. If I show you profiles of everybody over here, their LinkedIn profiles, and you look through those profiles and say, I'm going to talk to these five people because they make the most sense for my business, and then I allow you to connect with them through the app, then your day is spent way more efficiently. And instead of looking at people's badges and looking at what they do, you can network in a much more efficient fashion. So that's what Unsocial does? That's what Unsocial does. So and it's very business oriented? It is only for business. We okay. have focused very heavily. So you can log in using LinkedIn, not Facebook. Ah, uh, that's interesting. So the okay. idea behind it is simple. The way we yeah. look at it, the more people you have in your Facebook social network, the less efficient it becomes. That's true. Because once you get family, about friends, 800. Yeah. So I know a lot of people who didn't really think about it when they started adding friends. Now they have 800, 900 friends. They don't post anymore on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Now they're looking at Google Circle. Right. But how many times can you skip social networks? Right. LinkedIn is the exact opposite. If I have 800 people on my LinkedIn network, I want to broadcast my business. Right. So that's what we're saying is LinkedIn grows in a slow, inorganic fashion. I meet you today, I'm probably going to add you to my LinkedIn account, mm -hmm. but maybe three, four, five, ten people a week, but that's still so slow. With Unsocial, I can detect everybody around here and with one button connect them with on LinkedIn. So the idea is that it's purely focused on business, it is for business, uh, so that's how. And you guys are uh, unveiling something later on, which is pretty, uh, it's pretty spectacular. Uh, we are working with uh, with a deal net. Yeah. deal net. Yeah, yeah. I've talked to uh, their CEO and yeah. talked about it, and it's uh, you know, a little kind of a location-based uh, deals. Yeah, pretty much. So deal net is integrated within the app, and we did it within uh, less than a week within on social. And so the idea was that deal net uh, has a location-based uh, advertising network, and uh, so we basically took their banner. Mm -hmm. put it within this and now you can click on it and it actually goes and serves ads so it will get DealNet's actual commercial that they're putting out to it and then we also were able to put DealNet's icon over here which does the same thing I saw that, yeah so awesome. you just put, do that and now you're able to enter DealNet system and we're actually going to be talking to them so that uh, these banners actually on the top over here are actually location based and coming from their server rather than static right now I see, okay but the limitation over there is that most of these tools are client based so to make any change, you've got to make updates and stuff like that. Right. What we're trying to do with them is more server-based. So we're trying to push in more dynamic data within them. Okay. So. Okay. Great. So you heard it first at thedroidguy.com and lazytechguys.com.